the roulette this okay. one. Whatever one you pick out, you have to try. up wanted some donuts yes we put it out there where is the best donut in orlando and we got a recommendation we got something that we've never heard before yeah it's only been recently that we've even heard of this place yeah we thought we were going to head down to um everglazed yeah and go to go try that out because i know that's been something a lot of people have really enjoyed and loved and we even thought maybe we're going to go to Voodoo because we haven't been there yet. I know. It's been so long since we've been in Universal, but we thought we couldn't go there without the twins because they are due a trip to Universal as well, hitting that height requirement. So we're here at the Salty Donut. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. We've heard after... really good things. Yes. Um, we looked at their menu online. Yes. Um, everything sounds really good. Mm -hmm. So um, we did a little research. Just to kind of, because we never heard of them. And it, mm -hmm. it, to us, it kind of came out of the blue. And maybe just because we weren't really looking for donuts. So right, right. Um, they've been around since 2015, I believe. Yep, yep. Um, they started in Miami um, as like a little food truck. Mm -hmm. And then opened their first brick and mortar store mm -hmm. in Miami. Um, and have since expanded, especially to the Orlando area. Yep. So And I think they're going to Texas as yeah, well. So uh -huh. if you're in Texas, in Texas <laughs> I think Austin is where the donut yeah. which is be great for them you go to austin a lot so i do i do you... head over that way so i will definitely put this in the rotation of, of yeah. places morning place to go to which is crazy because they do have a voodoo donut over there as well so Ooh. let's we'll see. see yes uh, but we'll i'm really excited i've been craving a good donut for um a couple weeks now we had yeah. watched a video yeah. about i think it was some some of you somebody did a review on everglazed yeah. and <sighs> ever since then we were just really really wanting yeah. a good donut mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited. Yes, me too. Because we did stop at Duncan uh, like last weekend. That was like it was so disappointing. Ever <laughs> you know, since we've been getting like uh, the donut experiment when we were out on the island, because yeah. those donuts were amazing and yeah. fresh. So definitely want to try somewhere that's uh, just handmade, fresh donuts, and everything they do here, um, they say they make it in house. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. all the glazes and everything else the they use like a brioche recipe i'm intrigued about so, that yeah because um you don't hear that too often on donuts so right. and we love a good brioche <laughs> yeah yes and there's not quite a line looking out here in the car so we're we're in the car because it is a little rainy today uh, but, yeah i think the weather well yeah. plus it's a little later in the morning we're we're coming up on lunchtime yeah. so. <laughs> so let's go wait in line and go check yeah. out some donuts so we just got our donuts. They are in this really nice box. Yeah. Um, I like I'm that. really excited. They don't have any tables inside to eat, um, and it's really rainy outside. So we're going to go to the car and we're going to take these out and try them. Um, but the atmosphere in here looks really nice. It looks, you know, like a good place to eat if they are doing tables once right. everything kind of returns to normal. So, um, but I'm excited. I just, I we mean, get this is glimpse? like a garment box. This thing is like really nice. <laughs> I know when I saw people walking out, I thought it was like a shoe box. <laughs> We it get, kind of looks like right. that. I mean, like the quality is pretty good. So I want to see the inside. Okay. Can we get a glimpse. Get it. A... Oh, look. There's a little, little donut guy there. Those look good. Hope I remember everything we got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go try it. All right, let's go. We are back in the car with our donuts. Um, it is raining. I know we mentioned that earlier. So they do have outdoor seating, but they have nothing indoors at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to come back out to the car to eat, but that's okay. So Ooh, those look so good. They do. So I'm gonna tell you what we have. We have. Um, we'll start at the top. This is the uh, coquito. Oh, okay. It's like a toasted coquito. Yeah. This is the guava cheese. Oh, that sounds great. This is their um, just regular glazed. Classic, yeah. yeah. This was the um, brown butter and salt. Salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sounds like a great combination. <laughs> this is the vegan um, blueberry. blueberry. Yeah. 
So that looks really good. And then I had to try butterbeer. It looks to, really pretty. I had to try the butterbeer. That little sugar ornament yeah. on top. So I'm excited. I don't Which know what to try first. first. Um, I feel like you got to go with the classic. Think so? Okay. Just take a bite of it at least. Ooh. These are massive donuts. They're, They're a little huge. bit bigger than I thought. So. Okay. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> I wasn't sure because you were mm. you're quiet. Had to so they're a little denser than a okay. traditional donut, okay. which is probably the brioche because right. um so when you pick it up, it, it's not super heavy, but it, it's got a little weight to it. But the glaze is um and I don't really think it's gonna come up on camera if you look at it, but it's like looks like it's got vanilla bean in it. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I see um, the little it's a little there heavier of a glaze like a little thicker okay not in a bad way like super good yeah so i really like that a lot <laughs> all right what do you th what do you think mm. it's really great. good yeah that's so good wow because you pick it up and you think oh man this can be so heavy but it just like melts in your mouth it does the same thing like the icing like the icing is so thick mm -hmm. it's heavy icing but when it gets in your mouth it just melts it's not mm. not heavy in a bad way mm -mm. but so good okay i feel like you gotta try one more thing what do you want to try um well i'm gonna try them all well <laughs> the brown butter salt yeah that definitely really sounds like you see salt on it so i'll curious maybe it's mixed like the icing oh Mm. This one's more of like a cake donut. Okay, so I did read that their cake donuts are, um, is it like cr kind of crispy on the outside and then mm -hmm. like a softer inside? Yeah, it okay. definitely, it's weird. So the butter and the salt, it tastes like popcorn to me. Ooh. So, yeah, this is, it, it tastes like <laughs> movie style popcorn. Which is great because I don't, I can't eat popcorn anymore. So, <laughs> um, wow. I don't, that doesn't sound like a good description. <laughs> it's not, well. I'm going to have to try yeah, it. I'll have yeah, to try yeah. it. But <laughs> mm. Should I keep going? I feel like I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have a bite. That is a big donut. The girls are going to be disappointed they missed out on this. <laughs> So now that's the vegan mm -hmm. blueberry. Does it taste vegan? Not that I know what vegan, but you know, yeah. sometimes. Like it just misses a little bit. Yeah. Um, it, I like the, it, it's like a cake donut, uh, not a cake donut, more like the dough. Is it kind of filled too? Is that what it looks like? Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of like in an awkward yeah, no, angle. Mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it, it's, is it filled or on top? It looks filled. Yeah, it's filled. Okay. Um, that's great. And it's crazy because it's filled, but it's a, a hole. A hole. <laughs> I know we say the girls are going to be disappointed, but in reality, we're going to have so many donuts for when they get home tomorrow. Maybe it's not. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah. It's like a kind of a cream or a custard. I think so. It tastes like butter beer. Does it taste like cream soda? <laughs> Mm. Is it good? It's really good. <laughs> Butterbeer. <laughs> I'm not getting the Butterbeer a whole lot, but it's really good. Um, or does it have like a butterscotchy kind of flavor to it? Because I see it looks like it's got some kind of dribble. Butterscotch, shortbread, kind of, which I mean are those flavors of yeah. butterbeer. But I mean, it's also been a, a few years since we've had a true butterbeer. Mm -hmm. But it is, um, it's a really good donut. I definitely think I want to try the guava first. That is super heavy. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's so deceiving. So if you look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's really good sweet not too sweet okay i was afraid it was gonna be like kind of on the sweeter side right i mean especially it's a donut and then yeah. it's got a lot going on it's actually 
probably not even as sweet as the glaze. Glaze don't have hot, so that's all I've got to oh, compare it to. But. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah, and the top is it like a like you know when you get the guava bars, like the guava and cheese bars, mm. I like Publix, like pastry. That is a good Man, guava flavor. That. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is the coquito. Oh, the bottom's got like a. Oh, it's kind of hard. Like to a dip. See, bottom dip, huh? That's yeah. different. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I would say there's no way avoiding it not mm. getting on your face. That's really good. Is it filled? No, not or not you didn't filled. get there yet. Mm, or maybe actually, if you look back in there, it might. I don't know. I don't know if it's filled or because actually what the top looks like is um they kind of soaked it in coquito top so oh okay you know kind of when you make french toast you put the mm -hmm. it looks like they kind of dipped it in there so i don't know if that's a filling i'll get there okay. would you put the the original glaze over the coquito or next um, to the coquito the coquito over that yeah okay yeah i think um i'd go the butterbeer my favorite number one okay. for sure and then from there it gets a little little <laughs> fuzzy um i really like the blueberry vegan one it definitely like we were saying with some a lot of times with the vegan some of those substitutes obviously you're not gonna get that full flavor or, right or you know like you would with the other ones mm -hmm. but for a vegan donut it's excellent it doesn't taste vegan. Um, I mean, I had it, and it really doesn't taste like a vegan donut at all. Like I said, my only thing with that donut is, um, I don't. I love flesh, fresh. Flesh love, donut. That's, <laughs> I'm not trying that one. I love fresh blueberries. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I don't like anything that's really blueberry flavored or mm. like blueberry pie or anything like that. Mm. So, and that's definitely a blueberry pie filling. So for me, that just that's not a winner. But yeah. that's a personal thing. That is that's nothing against the donut. But when you're tasting, it, to me, it doesn't really taste like a vegan donut. Um, after you eat the other ones, you think so? And you go back to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. But, but if you were just given great. that donut, you wouldn't be like, oh man, I think this I'd is be a... go, oh okay, this is. If nobody uh, told you it was if vegan, no, well, that's what I'm saying. No one told me, and I was just eating it. I'd go. Okay, that's a pretty good donut. Um, but overall, these are probably, we were saying it off camera, the best donuts yes. we've had. As far as pricing goes, they're, they range anywhere from 3 to $4 a donut. It's not bad. No, it wasn't. For... I, it wasn't. I mean, and, I mean, are you really going to come here and get six donuts for two people? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> You're us. Um, but... When you think about it like that, we we saw a lot of people carrying out their single boxes. They mm -hmm. do sell um, donut holes. Oh, yeah, I saw that. So And they had um, one mini option today. I don't remember. Oh, okay. It was like a s'mores or something, I, I believe. So Ooh. I don't know if that rotates Ooh. or... That sounds good. But... Um, and what was... I mean, I think we paid about $23 for the box. Yeah. So Which, not... I mean... They're definitely worth it. I mean... Yeah, I agree. I, you can't compare this to definitely a... A Krispy Kreme oh, or yeah. a um, Dunkin, Dunkin' Donuts, as far Publix. as pricing goes. Yeah. I mean, well, taste wise, you can compare it in any way to right. any of those. Places. I mean, you're paying double, but these are bigger, they're fresher, finer quality right. ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, the pricing is on par with other donut places of craft, similar craft, craft donuts. donuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when you're talking about an Everglaze or when you're talking about mm -hmm. a Voodoo or even when right. we were at the Donut Experiment in Anna Maria. Yeah. Um, the pricing is definitely on par with that. And I, I mean, I think they're worth it. I, I would pay I more agree. for them, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Don't I, tell them that. I don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say we got to put these away because okay. we, there's more more to come. So secret. We're not going to tell you exactly where no. we're going yet. But it's right down the road from where we were. We just it's had like to a move. a two-minute walk. Yeah. But we didn't want to take up their parking because we right. don't know how long this next place is going to take us. Yeah. A little bit of a line, which... <laughs> There understandable is. um yes um it's but a place we will, we've oh well, go ahead i was just gonna say we will say um if you're coming here to this place that we're going to yeah um i would just try to find street parking yeah um they do have a small parking lot but it's okay. um, really busy it's not right. worth trying to deal with yeah yeah and sorry if the the quality is a little bit different 
uh, our camera was overheating, yeah, which I don't know why that's doing. So we're kind of doing gorilla we're, style on our iPhones. We're giving it a little rest. We're going uh, back and forth. <laughs> so if you see some quality or sound quality, uh, just because the external mic on the phone, I don't have that as, as well. But all right, we're almost there. Let's go. Yay. We can do the original camera. Yeah, there it is, right over yeah. here. <laughs> Yes. So it is in the East End Market, um, which is like a little co-op. It's really cool in here. We're definitely going to walk around um, after we get our Gideons. Um, so far, we have been in like 15 minutes, which if you've been to Disney Springs location, you know that that is like yeah. express status right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but yeah, we, we decided to come to the original Gideons and, mm -hmm. and check it out because that's where it all started for yeah. Gideons and right. all of the hoopla now. So Yes, I don't know how I'm going to eat it after those donuts because I might have finished one that I wasn't planning on it when we were putting them away. <laughs> uh, but, no, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. We've had Gideons before. We We've have. had it at uh, Flight Pig. We had it Disney when they were at the Flight Pig, yeah. We have not made it to the new Disney Springs location, but right. we um, they used to bring cookies to the Polite Pig at 11 and 4 right. every day. Yes. Um, so we had it there. We have also made... Yes, for my birthday. Um, we made it for my birthday. Gideon's cookies. I mean, I, I don't yes. know if they compare to the true Gideon's cookies, no, but... they were pretty good. Um, we made our own knockoff Gideon's yes. cookies at home. Yeah, so. they were yum. They were so good. <laughs> it took about a week to eat. It, they're so heavy. If you've ever had Gideon's cookies, they are like... 20 pounds each mm -hmm. cookie. <laughs> yeah, and what makes them though is, the, well, we'll talk about it. We'll, we we'll will. talk about it. We'll, but but that's where we're at. We're Gideons. So. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Do you know what we're getting at? I don't. There's so much. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what's left. Yes, I mean, it is kind of later in the day. I mean, they open at a lot of to go orders. But yeah, what time they open at? Um, 10 or 11. Okay. I don't so remember. I think it's. I think at 10 you can start lining up the open at 11. It is um, 12.30 right now, so I don't know Not too bad. Happen. Not too bad for a weekend. I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the weather kept some people away yeah, that yeah, might yeah. have normally come because it was really bad this morning, so. All right, let's go See? order. Here is their limited edition cookie. They have the mild and then the spicier one, which I'm guessing is that middle one that has a lot more to it, glitter um, to it. We ended up getting one of each, so we'll see. We could, it was a tie between getting, we definitely knew we were getting the mild one, but we weren't sure if we are gonna get the super spicy or get the, um, the cookies and cream, but because they have the cookies and cream all the time. Yeah, our thought process was go with the special. Go with the special one, so. Um, and then they also have cake, which is kind of hard to see through there, which we've never had either, but maybe next time. Yeah. So this is, um, our, as we said, this is our first time to an actual Gideon's location. We've had their stuff before, but we've never been to an actual location. Um, different than I pictured. I wasn't yeah, sure too. what to expect. Yeah. Perfect. So I got a pistachio coffee, mild and a spicy eternal flame. Yep. Peanut butter, original, and triple. Perfect. Awesome. This is for you. Um, we're on our way back to the car to give some of our cookies a try. I don't know if I can. <laughs> uh, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I will definitely Sorry, say the, um, it's super busy. I mean, I, we're here on a Saturday, mm -hmm. so th that's probably to be expected, but yeah. parking, um, the building is smaller, so definitely pretty busy. Yeah. Um, right. Switch arms, these cookies are so heavy. <laughs> but I we are on our way back to Peter. <laughs> They're heavy. Uh, we're going to go back to the car, give them a try. All right, we kind of found a, a quieter place, um, kind of in the Baldwin Park area. Yeah. Just because the traffic's pretty crazy where we were it parked at was. and just wanted a, somewhere a little bit quiet. So I, I hope these people we, uh, are okay with us parking kind of on the street near their house. But. We didn't want to be on display to try our cookies like we were for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's, let's see. Ready? Let's see. Let's see. You ready? Yeah. Oh. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are they labeled? Uh, I guess it'll be a surprise. All right. Just want a bite of one. Oh yeah. I mean, for those of you that have had Gideon's cookies before, you know that one cookie lasts like a week. Yeah, it lasts a few <laughs> days. Yeah, they, they stay, yeah. Thankfully they, they, they stay do fresh. stay pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they, they are not a one sitter cookie for most people, so. Right. All right, let's uh, roulette this okay. one. Whatever one you pick out, you have to try. Okay. Why do you say me? Well, because I can't have pistachio. <laughs> so. 
Uh, actually, I think that might be the pistachio because it was a little bigger. Let's see. Ooh. Actually, I don't know if you can have this one either. Is that the peanut butter one? Yeah, so it looks yeah. like it's got peanut butter. And you can see their cookies have a little bit of salt on them, and that blew my mind the first time we had it. Yeah. Where I'm like, how has no one thought about putting, like, bigger salt on this? Mm -hmm. And now that's my favorite thing. We're not really salt people. We don't right. really add extra to our food. We cook with it. But just, ah, uh, yeah, that definitely made it for me was, was the salt on there. Mm. Dense, not dense, mm. sweet. What's so funny about their soft. cookies, because soft, yes, sweet, yes, peanut buttery, salty, um, as heavy as they are, and they, I mean, it really is a dense cookie, but when you're starting to eat it, mm -hmm. it doesn't taste too, too dense. Okay. So I appreciate that, because when you pick one of these things up, you're mm. like, man, this thing is going to be it's like heavy. a brick. Yeah, but it's not as heavy when you're eating it compared to an other cookie, but you still, gotcha. I mean, trying to eat the whole thing would be right. good though. All right, so it's your turn. Uh, Which one do you think? So this, this one? No. No, that's the one you picked. <laughs> uh, gosh, I really don't want to pick the spicy, uh, <laughs> the spicy version. So I'm not ready for that yet. Like I want to try it. I'm glad we got it, but I'm not ready to do that. I'm really hoping for triple chocolate. So. Well, and it was funny too because we, um, I know we mentioned this, so you can only get six. Is that triple chocolate or is it eternal flame? Nope, it is. Um... <laughs> oh, that's the eternal flame. Um, Here we go. So we were trying to decide which six we were going to get. Yeah. And um, the staff there is super friendly. I mean, mm -hmm. the guy there was really, really nice. And but he's like, no, you definitely need to go with the, the spicy one too. So. So this is the mild one. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. That's the thing. We what don't know which we didn't ask. We forgot to ask which one's a spicy and which one's a mild. But I just had a chocolate chip. Is it spicy? <laughs> Not spicy, but I had a little kicked. You see a little of the <clears throat> the what? The, <laughs> um, the pepper flakes, or um, I don't know what they spiced it with. Is it cayenne? Probably. Yeah. I mean, that would be my guess. That's good. I mean, the salty, the chocolate, everything works. It, it works. I don't know so if I So what do you think? A, I don't know if I could eat a whole thing. It's definitely one to share. Well, they all are. Well, <laughs> I don't know, because I could eat that classic one by myself. Um, but it's just... I mean, there's a lot going on. I don't think I could eat all of it. But Okay. Can I take, take a bite now of the, the triple mm. chocolate? All right, one? you have to eat the next one, whatever the next one is. I'm gonna pick the spicy one. I know. <laughs> Let's see. This might be the pistachio. No, it's spicy. Nope, pistachio. Oh, okay. I gotta Dude, hide I really it. I gotta that... hide it so you don't know which one it is. <laughs> I really thought that other one was. Is that triple chocolate? Triple chocolate. There you go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Mm-hmm. See, now on the other side, mm. you love chocolate mm -hmm. and everything about chocolate. Well. Not milk chocolate, but. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. <laughs> Good chocolate. Yeah. What do you think? It's terrible. <laughs> It's disgusting. It should be thrown out. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I think I know which one this is. Um, and I'm gonna go for it. Oh, the super hot. Right? So, I thought maybe they just put like a glitter on the one in the case so you would know that oh. there was two different ones, but clearly not. It's got the mm -hmm. edible glitter on it, so I don't know. Is it gonna be spicy? Yeah, it is. Okay, I gotta make sure I get a bite with good cherry in it because. Mm. There it is. <laughs> and not too bad though. Yeah. 
I mean, it's enough to make your tongue tingle a little bit, but oddly enough, it's my lips that taste like. Yeah. Yep. No. But it's got a good flavor. I, I do like that. I need a glass of milk with it for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But they should definitely, they should sell milk. So and at this location, they don't sell coffee. Like I was going to say, do they Disney don't serve? Springs, okay. Right. I was just going to ask that because I didn't mm. see. I mean, Utah, it's a very small, super mm -hmm. small location. Um, it's right. really just a, a stall, um, probably mm -hmm. 10 feet by 15, 20 yeah. feet. So a lot of great theming in it. I mean, they did a lot with the space. Obviously, they don't bake in that particular space that they must bake at, but... I liked it. Yeah, it was definitely a, a good uh, good breakfast. I'm ready to wash it down with something. Yeah. Uh, or get food, but maybe let's just go get something to, yeah. to wash it down with first, you think? Here at Orlando we Brewing. Made it. So this is one of the first breweries in Orlando and one of the first uh, organic, yep. certified organic breweries in Florida. So we're gonna go in, enjoy a drink. A drink. And, um, Spend some quiet time together by ourselves. We yes. haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. Um, so I think we're gonna wrap it up with you guys. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and this truck that we yeah, made. We, we didn't trip. really know what we were. I mean, we we had an idea. We knew what food we wanted, but the weather kind of threw us off. Mm -hmm. And um, so thanks for improvising with us yeah. and, and going along with what we were doing. We had a great, was great morning. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications because we don't do this often. When we do, we'd love to bring you along. Remember, it's great, big, beautiful today. Tomorrow's the stream way. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.